You love the look of natural light, but it limits you to shooting at certain times of day and relying on mother nature. So let's take away that limitation because contrary to common misconception, flash can look like natural light. It's just gonna take some advanced lighting education. And with that, welcome to Lighting 4, creating every natural light effect with flash. This is the fourth course in the Location Lighting Mastery series, and at this point, if you've completed the entire series, you've mastered the fundamentals of light from Lighting 1, you already understand the five primary light patterns, their purpose, and the intention behind the usage of each of these. You've learned the power of a single light source in Lighting 2. You know your light modifiers. You can visualize what these modifiers are going to do to the quality of your light, and you've created dramatic and dynamic imagery using multi-point light setups in Lighting 3. Now in Lighting 4, we're gonna move to what we think is the most advanced and refined step of your lighting toolkit and education. That is learning to create any form of natural light effect using highly portable flashes and modifiers. Now this is a trailer, but as always, I hope you guys stick around because throughout this video, you're gonna see behind the scenes techniques and tips that'll make watching this video worth your time. And quick disclaimer, this course is gonna be fast paced. It's gonna build on your knowledge gained from lighting one through to lighting three. We're gonna work through nearly 20 scenes from start to finish, not only how we light and set up each shot, but we're also gonna provide you with over 50 raw exercise files so we can work through each image and post to achieve the final look. Now, you'll walk away from this course with patterns and recipes for recreating authentic and refined natural light using flash, and this is gonna remove any limitation that Mother Nature might present to you. As a photographer, this means no matter the scene, the situation, the time of day, you're always gonna be in control. And as a course within the Location Lighting Mastery series, we've created Lighting 4 using a variety of affordable and highly portable gear. In addition, as always, we're including the power translations so that no matter what gear you're using, you're gonna know the camera settings as well as the flash power settings throughout each scene. We kick off this course with a technique that I love using for in-camera dodging and burning. Now, I love that dodge and burn look, but I hate having to do all the work in post. So in this first scene, we actually begin by modifying our flash first with a magmod grid to control light spill. Then from there, we place the magmod sphere over the grid to create a layer of diffusion. Now, I actually wanted to, well, diffuse and soften the light source a little bit more, but I didn't have another modifier that was small enough to use within the scene. So instead, I grabbed a paper towel from my car and I had my assistant hold it just a little bit in front of the light source. I want you to complete the location lighting series with a mastery of how you can create any look, and that means even if you have to MacGyver it a bit. But from there, we had a subtle amount of light kicked into our subject's face, and all I need to do was take our raw file in the Lightroom, where I'm actually gonna show you how to create a wonderfully powerful, quick dodge and burn brush preset to lift your subject out and finalize the image in just a couple minutes and without ever having to touch Photoshop. We're gonna teach you how to create a window light for studio portraits anywhere. In fact, we'll even show you how to create an ultra large portable light source that you can use to create natural light in any location, including this dark gym, where we actually shot a series of simulated natural light fitness portraits using various different lighting patterns. We're gonna walk through augmenting natural light with backlights using atmosphere and creating flares that can enhance a scene to create a perfect sort of natural kiss of sunlight that didn't really actually exist in the scene. We're even gonna walk through recreating a midday hard sunlight in detail in the middle of the night in a dark warehouse alley. Now the purpose of each of these tutorials is to give you another layer of refinement in your lighting skills and abilities. It goes without being said that we also want to teach you how to create any source of environmental backlighting that you'd get from the sun. This means lighting patterns that you might get from shooting late in the afternoon, during golden hour, or even in dusk when you have to recreate golden hour. One of my favorite tutorials around this subject is how to shoot with artificial flares. Specifically for this shot, we placed our subject in the window frame and allowed the ambient light in front of her to leave the face a little bit dark. 
We then work the camera left and right as we fire to get the perfect flare coming from the top left of that frame. And that flare was recreated by our flash since we're actually shooting this image during dusk. Every image that you see in this video is taught from start to finish, from lighting to the final post-production in a six hour course that's designed to level up your lighting knowledge without wasting your time and resources. The Location Lighting Series is the gold standard in lighting education and since its inception, we've become official educational partners and ambassadors for Magmod as well as Profoto Legends of Light. We love teaching about the creative possibilities that come through mastering lighting and we know you're gonna love Lighting 4. To learn more or to purchase, click the link in the description below. My name is Pi and I'll see you guys in the next video.